Representative Cortez from New York. Thank you so much, Representative Garcia. Thank you so much, Representative Jackson Lee, for welcoming us here to your district. You know, when disaster strikes, this is not just an issue for Texans. This is an issue for our entire country. And our whole country needs to come and rally together behind the needs of Texans all across the state. And, you know, as was mentioned earlier, disasters don't strike everyone equally. When you already have so many families in the state and across the country that are on the brink that can't even afford an emergency to begin with, when you have a disaster like this, it can just set people back for years, not just for days. And so we have tragedy in this state. We need to rally around the state. We need to rally federal support for Texans and the state of Texas. And we need to make sure that we make short and long-term policy decisions so that this kind of devastation, preventable devastation, never happens again. And so I'm incredibly excited. You know, I think that, uh, as, as Representative Garcia mentioned, we hit $3.2 million in assistance for Texans across the state just last night. And I think this shows that New York stands with you, but the whole country stands with you. And as, we, as, as you mentioned, uh, Representative Garcia, you know, we're in Texas, so we got to go big with that support. And so we hope to go even bigger. We hope to hit even more. Who knows, uh, you know, if we can hit even four. We'll see about that. Um, but, you know, we really need to make sure that we're getting food and assistance to people across the state. As was mentioned, here at the, food, at the Houston Food Bank, no questions are asked. So you come up and you need help, you do not have to prove a damn thing. Documentado o indocumentado, puedes tener asistencia y puedes tener ayuda aquí in the Houston Food Bank. If you are documented, undocumented, no matter what your income, no matter your housing status, you can get help here, which is one of the reasons why we are so proud to support the Houston Food Bank, because we, don't, because we want to help everybody. You need it, we'll be there. That's the New York spirit, that's the Texan spirit, that's the American spirit. So thank you all so much. And I'll introduce our... Oh, sorry. Any questions, anybody? Alex? So we have um, three point, the 3.2 million. We have selected five to 10 organizations. 100% of all donations go straight there. So we've got the Houston Food Bank. We've got ECHO. So we have elder care uh, support for our Texans that are, that are currently homeless. Um, because they are particularly vulnerable right now without shelter. Uh, so it's largely food support, elder care, uh, housing support, shelter support, and the 10 organizations are listed in the app blue page if you'd like to know the specific one. You know, when we first, um, when we first reached out and we tried to figure out what organization, we started uh, trying to identify partner organizations, I think on Monday or Tuesday. Um, and so we started going to these organizations and at first we put out this support and I thought we would be able to, you know, raise a, a decent amount of money, but the response was so incredibly overwhelming. You know, when we hit $1 million in four hours, it felt like, you know, what this meant was that our country was asking us all to come together with that. And uh, I'm aware that a lot of us have the privilege also of being vaccinated. Um, and I think that comes with an elevated responsibility to step up and, and help as public servants. And so when we hit a million and then we hit two million, it was like, all right, we got to get on a plane now. So uh, that's one of the big reasons why we headed over. I think what, you know, we were visiting about it. And I think when she heard that I didn't have water and didn't have power and was having to use a, a water bucket to fill my toilet so I could get, get substitute for flushing, I think it, she sort of went like, wow. I mean, she got the flavor of how devastating this event has been for everyone across the board, but more particularly, again, for people in my district and Sheila's district in the vulnerable areas where we have the older homes, the older pipes, and the less access to services. So we're going to be visiting the district and making sure that, that she gets a good first on the ground look at what is really going on. It's it's more than just reading it in the paper and, and uh, uh, looking at it on the news, no offense, y'all. Uh, but, you know, being there and really touching people makes a huge difference. And I hope that it means that it'll encourage her to double the three million. <laughs> what's, what's been your thought on the Republican response? 
you know, for me, I think what's important is to focus on the response of leaders that are here on the ground. We have Representative Jackson Lee, who represents the Houston Food Bank. We have Representative Sylvia Garcia. They are here, and they're on the ground, and they're helping Texas, and they're knocking doors of their neighbors. And so what I think is really important is let's focus on the folks who are doing the work, on the leaders and the champions. And, I mean, the women here, hello, <laughs> that are doing the work. So. You know, my response is let's give it up to the ladies out here in Houston and across the state who are just kicking butt and making sure that families are getting fed and that their, their water's turned on. Well, absolutely.